Hi guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome to if you're new here. In today's collection we have the China Glaze Summer 2023 collection and as far as what I'm wearing, I'm going to put it in the description box. It's a mix of two colors. Um, now for this collection, I actually bought it from Polish Pick and then China Glaze sent it to me, which means you guys are getting one. So there will be some information in the box below on how to enter to win this collection. All right, first up we have Freezer Burn, and this one is the Electric Blue for Summer. It seems to be a popular color this summer, which I am not mad about. Now for this one, it's not a cream. This is actually a crelly type of blue. And the first coat, it was, I did a very thin first coat. Immediately when I noticed that it was a jelly, I was like, I'm gonna have to build this one up. So I didn't do too thick of a coat or anything. If you do too thick of a coat, I'm afraid it's gonna pull on the sides. So I did a first thin coat, it was streaky and uneven. Now, it works similar for me, like to the slip layers that people do when they're applying gels. Like you do the first very thin coat, and then the second coat, I did it the normal way, and it was not thin or too thick or nothing, just the normal, and it was like super even and opaque for me. Now, I even went ahead and did a third coat just to see if anything will happen, and nothing changed. So I would think this is a solid two-coater, but keep in mind that it is a Crowley, and in the first coat, you might get scared because it's gonna look ugly. But then when you do the second, it evens out, and everything looked good, so. Up next, we have Frozen in Lime. This one's your typical neon green for summer. Now, it is not a cream color. This is a Crelly, I would say, Crelly slash jelly. So, like I was saying with the blue, I immediately realized that these polishes need to be applied, thinking of them, you know, thin coats, build them up. They're not creams. If you try to do coats that are too thick, it's gonna pull on the sides and create shadows. So we don't want that. So for this one, I did a very thin first coat and then built it up with a second coat that was thin to normal. And I still needed a third, but, it seemed pretty like normal for these types of polishes that are like crellies slash almost jellies that you have to build up. Now, if you go into it thinking it's a cream, you're gonna be disappointed, but just if you know ahead of time what kind of finish it is, then you can judge it for what it is and not for what you think it should be, you know? Like that always happens. A lot of times when these collections are not like solid creams, we get disappointed, but it's like, what are they meant to be, right? So for a crelly, neon, it's fine. I think it's normal. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. Up next, we have Berry Yummy. And this one I have in my notes, you guys, same as the green, that's all I wrote. So you're gonna need to build it up. It is a crelly, jelly-ish type of formula. And you're gonna need three coats to make it wearable. It was opaque and even for me, I have three coats. Now, keep in mind, I do have some notes regarding the yellow and the green. And I put them together because they behave the same. All right, so these two were easy to work with. So I have to make that clear because it's important. So even though they require three coats, they were not struggling. They applied nicely, they were easy to work with. I had no issues, no issues with them. But after they dried, even though I did three coats, I, I saw something that I'm gonna describe as a shadow. Cause it wasn't a bold spot. It's usually like a spot somewhere, in a, you know, at the top usually. It wasn't a streak, which is usually like a very defined line along the nail, no. It was in some nails, in some angles, I could see like a shadow, almost as if the polish settled differently, you know? Now, I don't know if it has something to do, you know, to do with my application. Maybe I didn't do the coat thin enough and the polish kind of like pulled on me a little bit. Um, but you know, once you have to start making up stories as to what did I do and did I do this and did I do that? Then you already know that the formula is not like the most fantastic best thing, you know? Because usually polishes when they're like amazing, it's like no matter what you do, they go on, you slap them on and they look perfect. This one, again, if you like the color and you don't mind, that's fine. But keep in mind, thin coat, build them up. And maybe on some nails, they're not gonna be perfect at three, but they're wearable. It's gonna look fine, you know? And for most people, three coats is gonna be perfect. But just keep in mind, if you have rigid nails or like peeling nails, things where you might see imperfections, keep in mind that these two could cause you trouble, maybe not, but just heads up. All right, up next we have Glad You've Melt Me. This name is so cute, like most of these names are pretty nice. Um, this one is a jelly. This one's not even a crelly. I tried to build this one up to three coats just to test it, and I could still see nail lines. So this is gonna be a jelly, just keep that in mind. Don't even try to build opacity. Be happy with the nail line or don't buy this one. Now, I do have to say, that this had no streaks whatsoever. It's a true orange jelly, not streaky. And I even did it on this nail that I have that's very ridgy. It was great. I was very surprised about it. Like the first coat was not streaky. The second coat was super even, but it's sheer because obviously it's a jelly. You're gonna see your nail line. Even at the third coat, I still saw nail line, like I said. So, but none of them were streaky. So you kind of have to want this look. If you're looking for opacity, this one's not for you. 
Up next, we have Tambourine. Super cute name again. This one's also a jelly. Um, it was very decent at uh, one coat, actually. It was not as like super perfect as the orange, but it was good. And then it was a good second coat, very even. Um, and I still saw nail line eye too, so I think it's intended for this one as well to have that squishy type of look. And then at three, I, I didn't see any more nail line, but I think this one's meant to show it. So if your nail line is even stronger than mine, or if you have very long nails, keep in mind that you might still see it, but it was very nice, easy to work with, and it was even for me. Up next we have, will that be a cup or cone? And this one is a similar situation as the previous pink. Keep in mind, it's also a little bit squishy, but it is more opaque. Now, for full opacity, I need a three coats, and I feel like if they're trying to wear this color fully opaque, don't buy this color. Buy this if you want the squishy type of crelly slash kind of jelly thing for summer, okay. You're gonna be able to cover your nail line, but like if that's what you want, just get a cream. You know what I mean? Th these are not creams. All right, so now that we have seen all of them, I have to tell you that I'm a little bit, um, I'm trying to think how to say this. I'm conflicted by this collection. Let me tell you why. Because I think as what they are, which is not a cream, they're crellies slash squishy slash, I'm gonna show you my nail line slash jelly type of polishes. Um, they're okay. They do their job, like, most of them are wearable and perfectly fine at two. And then these two, you need three, but they're kind of easy to work with. I didn't really struggle through them at all. Um, but I would have preferred if they were creams. That's personal. That's my personal preference. And I actually, you know, when I saw that they were an ice cream theme collection, ice cream gives me creaminess, you know, not jelliness. So I thought they were creams, but they're not, which is fine. So the reason why I say I'm conflicted is like, because if I judge them for what they are, they're fine. They're a normal, normal collection. Nothing epic, but it's not the worst, you know? They're fine. But then if you know, if you judge them by being creams, which will be wrong, they're like horrible, right? I mean, you have to build them up. They're, they're not creams. So it will be wrong to judge them as creams, but I did kind of wanted them to be. So that's why I'm saying I'm on the fence. Um, so I'm not really gonna pick a favorite or not a favorite because I have like mixed feelings about the collection. But anyways, like I always tell you, that was like my personal take on, on the collection as a whole. I do think that the colors are very nice. They're summery, feels cohesive. Is it the most unique thing we've ever seen? No, not really, but it doesn't matter. When you're picking polishes individually, like nobody cares, right? You're grabbing the polish you wanna wear. It doesn't matter the friends that it came with. But you know, as we're reviewing collections, we always talk about like, the color story and the cohesiveness of the collection and all of that. So I think this one's you know, it's a nice color story. Summer is cohesive, but anyways. Um, if you like anything here, I think it, they're fine. You know, it's not super epic. You have to get them so easy, but they're also not bad. Like you can build them up just fine, work with them just fine. I even think like, even if you're a beginner, you're not gonna struggle because they apply nicely, but you are gonna have that situation where you have to build them up. So if that's something that you're not up for, then maybe skip them. If a color really speaks to you, then you're gonna be okay. So I'm not very like, I don't have too extreme feelings about this collection either way. So that's it. Thank you guys for coming to my review. Remember to join the giveaway down below. I'm gonna put the instructions and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.